might have heard the name Mariana Trench, which is one of the incredible yet strangest places in depth of the ocean. It's more than a surprise for us all that the Mariana Trench is the deepest oceanic trench on earth and home to the two lowest points on the planet. Before we head to its formation, let's have a little introduction to what actually is the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench in the South Pacific Ocean is formed as the mighty Pacific Plate subducts beneath the smaller, less dense Philippine Plate. In a subduction zone, some of the molten material the former seafloor can rise through volcanoes located near the trench. Afterwards, we'll show you which creatures lives in the deep sea. But first, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon and do not miss any latest information. Deep Sea Creatures Anglerfish which has a bright lure on the end of its head to lure prey. The anglerfish is a well-known marine creature thanks to the success of the film Finding Nemo. It's a reasonably famous creature that's quite distinctive due to the light producing from its head. Goblin Shark Still unclear what the unusual snout is for. The goblin shark is a rare species of shark. Its unusual and creepy appearance is often described as fossil-like. Similarly to the frilled shark, it has pink-toned skin and distinctive snout shape. Telescope Octopus A transparent octopus with tubular eyes. The telescope octopus is a transparent, eight-armed octopus that is almost entirely colorless. Their arms are the same size, and they are the only octopus to have tubular eyes. Sea Cucumber Makes up the vast majority of sea life on the deep sea floor, and breathe through their anus. And here comes the most incredible deep sea creature. Deep Sea Dragonfish A very small deep sea apex predator. The deep sea dragonfish also known as the scaleless dragonfish, is a deep sea predator. It's like the anglerfish and produces its own light. They have large teeth, especially compared to their size. It creates its own light in the darkest part of the trench through a process known as bioluminescence. The light is created through the animal's photophore. The fish uses it to attract prey and potential mates. Dinosaur's Evolution in Mariana Trench Let's look at the idea that Megalodon could be living in the deepest part of the Mariana Trench, Challenger Deep stretches 10,984 meters down. You could submerge Mount Everest into it and still have 2 kilometers to spare. For starters, if Megalodon sharks still roam around the ocean, the last place they'd be going would be the Mariana Trench. All deep sea creatures also have molecules called piezolites. Their job is to stop the other molecules from being crushed by the pressure. The Mariana Trench Megalodon would most definitely need to stock up on some of those. To maintain its body temperature, our Megalodon would have to be warm blooded. If Megalodon is still alive in the deepest, scariest, and the darkest part of Mariana Trench, then this hypothesis gives us hope for the evolution of dinosaurs near future. If we find the scientific evidence of Megalodon existence in present times, those seconds the deduction that dinosaurs such as Tyrannosaurus, Velociraptor, Apatosaurus, Stegosaurus and Triceratops are still alive, these and all the other known avian dinosaurs that became extinct at at least 65 million years ago at the end of the Cretaceous period. Don't forget to share which part of this creepy trench and its creatures you liked. Comment your views below and stay tuned for more amazing facts.